Coming up next, get the inside scoop on major storyline secrets straight from the stars of your favorite ABC soaps. Will all my children's Kendall get pregnant with Greeley and Ryan's baby? And is Jonathan returning to Pine Valley with another name on his hit list? Rebecca Buttig, Alicia Minshew, and Jeff Branson are here to tell all. And on One Life to Live, find out what Kristen's return will mean to Natalie and John. And could Rex and Natalie ever become a couple? Only Melissa Archer and John Paul Lavoisier can tell us. Plus, General Hospital's Rebecca Herbst will tell us if Liz will stay lucky in love. And Natalia Livingston and Tyler Christopher will reveal what's in store for Emily and Nicholas. Plus, we go on the sets of your favorite soaps to get more insider secrets from Maurice Bernard, Jacob Young, Michael E. Knight, Scott Clifton, Kirsten Storms, Cassie DePaiva, Michael Easton, and many more. When SoapNet reveals ABC Soap Secrets right now. And now, the hosts of our show, All My Children's Cameron Matheson and General Hospital's Nancy Lee Gron. Don't go anywhere. We are just getting started. And when we come back, storyline secrets from Coming up, Melissa Archer and John Paul Lavoisier give us the lowdown on Landview. And later from General Hospital, Rebecca Herbst, Natalia Livingston, and Tyler Christopher are here. Our next guests play brother and sister who are never afraid to be brutally honest with each other. Check it out. You really had a good time tonight. Shoot all that FaceTime with McBain. Yes. No. Yes. But, you know, it was nice. We talked. He's a good friend. A good friend you wouldn't mind seeing naked. Rex! Well, it's never going to happen if you don't make a move for him. Why don't you just go for it, Natty? Bust a play for Johnny Boy and see what happens. Please welcome Melissa Archer and John Paul of Washington. <laughs> About you. Thank you for standing for us. I don't blame you because I got to tell you, I truly love watching you guys together as brother and sister. I think you have great chemistry. I, I, I don't know how I feel about my sister being dressed the way she is. <laughs> Sorry. Eyes up there, JP. Eyes up. What, what's your, uh, sister, what, sister, sister. What's your relationship like in real life? We have a great relationship. I mean, I feel like he really is my brother. I always oh. tell my mom that she should have had him, and I'm mad at her because she didn't. Oh. oh. And I don't have a sister. I don't have a sister, but if I had one, it'd be you. <laughs> now that's very sweet and, and everything. But what was your first impression of Melissa? I owe Melissa a lot because I think she helped. She got me my job. I screen tested with her, and. Uh, uh, I thought, listen, I thought you were a diva, and this is why. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> and your point? <laughs> I walked on the set, and she didn't, you didn't really say hi. You just got, you just sweeped yourself in there in your robe, and I was, I was very nervous, <laughs> and you were just like getting makeup and hair and everything done, and you were reading your script, and it was just sort of, all right, let's block it, let's, let's rehearse it, let's do it. And there was, there was no like, hi, welcome to One Life to Live, I'm Melissa Archer. Uh, she was probably very intimidated by your, you know, your good looks or something. Maybe. Uh, I, funny <laughs> enough, doing. though, our scene was that I was trying to pick her up in a bar. I was hitting on you. That was our scene. You know what you used to remember? remind me of? Yeah. Seriously. What? Marsha and Greg Brady. <laughs> you know, they were brother and sister. Oh, but they were <laughs> well, really brother and sister, and yet... You know, there was sort of a little inappropriate yet kinky. <laughs> and do, do, do you think the fans want you to do that? Cross that inappropriate slash kinky line? I think we have some who do. Yeah. Really? And yes. You know, hey, it's, it's an interesting thought, except we do think of each other as brother and sister, and I think it would totally ruin the whole relationship that Rex and Natalie have, but... Listen, I'll sleep with my sister <laughs> if it's for the good of the show. Not real sister, remember? Not real sister. Melissa, uh, word has it that you still keep your prom dress around, and yes. you're like dying to wear it again. 
Uh, yes. Um, it was. Wow, I awesome. loved my prom dress. I, I really guess so. Did. And what like, did it look like? It's um, champagne color, and it. How long did it stay on for? It's. <laughs> <laughs> Mother will thank you for that. Yeah. Um, it's go straight across and then has like a little thing and I don't know, but it was really pretty. And um, I hope one day that I will be able to wear it. And I always want to wear it to the Oscars. Oh. To the Oscars. Oh. Okay. That that cool. Or you can meet like a 17-year-old boy and go to his prom. <laughs> <laughs> or that. Or the other. He's funny and I like your name too. I just like to say Le Voisier. Thank you. And yeah. You know, Are you French? French? No, it's you a don't fake, even speak it's French. French. It's, it's fake. fake. <laughs> <laughs> Jean-Paul Le Boissier. I, Bonjour, comment ça va, Jean-Paul? French food, no. What? <laughs> More like anglais, see si si vous play. Well, I just thought I'd go in that direction. <laughs> That's it's a stage good. name. It's been my stage name since I was 16. I, I think it is so catchy. Everyone, Le Boissier. Le Boissier. Isn't that fun? I, I like fun, it. fun, actually. I enjoy that. Just anyway, fun. when we come back, Melissa and Jean-Claude give up more storyline secrets. Don't you dare go They're anywhere. They're not leaving. Coming up. General Hospital's Rebecca Herbst, Tyler Christopher, and Natalia Livingston. And later, Maurice Bernard reveals the new danger that's facing Sonny. Welcome back to Soap Net Reveals ABC Soap Secrets. We are here with One Life to Live's Melissa Archer and John Paul Lavoisier. Before we find out what's happening with Natalie and Rex, we visited your castmates in Landview to get some scoop from them. Yes, we did. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. One life to live. Did you guys know this stuff? Or is this like, how is going to happen? Oh, <laughs> I know. My story. All right, wow. now, Melissa, what's in store for Natalie and John? Let's see. Well, John and Natalie finally, finally get together. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, John is holding a secret from Natalie that Christian is alive, and yes, and in jail, and that Christian's keeping that secret from me as well. Guess what? What? Evangeline finds out. And now, oh, Jan, deep now. Now we're trying to figure out: Is Evangeline going to tell Natalie and blow the couple apart? I don't know. Okay. We'll but do you know? And you're just not telling. Actually, I, really don't know. I know. I really don't. We don't know anything. I know nothing. <laughs> John Paul, we now know about Natalie's love life. Come mm -hmm. on, man. What about Rex's? It has been so long since Rex has had sex. Uh, he, he's hanging out with Adriana a lot, Adriana Kramer, and uh, she's a cute little thing. Uh, and uh, let's just say that uh, the first time that Adriana and Duke Buchanan go to uh, make love, uh, Adriana doesn't say Duke's name. Oh. Oh. Love this stuff. We're going to have to check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, please. 